This mysterious dwarven coin arrived in my mail today from Savage Crucible. Let's find out what this is all about. Dorkware! Some of you might be familiar with a company called My Action Figure Customs, and those are the people behind Savage Crucible. My Action Figure Customs is typically parts, weapons, accessories, add-ons, things like that for other fantasy lines, particularly Mythic Legions. And now it seems as though Rob, the owner of the company, has been plotting and planning with various artists to start an entire action figure line, full top to bottom it appears, based on some images that we're going to see in a couple minutes. Uh, of, of fantasy based, seems very Dungeons and Dragons inspired, but let's just take another quick look at this coin. Some people got this coin, it appears. I know Nikki Nicole Customs got this coin uh, and a few others got this coin. And other people got a bit more elaborate, like Eldritch Horror Cthulhu-esque kind of like decoder thing. I think those were like the real big spenders on the site and maybe the smaller spenders like myself got the Dwarven coin, but it is no less impressive. I mean, this thing is a heavy coin, like listen to that. This is a nice piece. Anyway, here's a closer look at the one side and then the other side. You can see there's some runes on there, weapons and just all sorts of like dwarven looking things with that square hole in the middle. You could put it maybe on a chain if you wanted to wear it as a pendant or something. But yeah, this is a, a cool piece. And I'm honored to have been included in among the group of people who got them. It also came with this little info card. On this side, the QR code takes you to their new website. And then on this side, it takes you to their new Instagram page. So now let's try to figure out what the heck this Savage Crucible is. They were at Toylanta this weekend. So they were revealing some things there. They've got their new website up and I can pull up some images from Instagram and some friends who were at Toylanta to try to get a sense of what this new action figure line is all about. First up, when we get into their website, they have sort of a landing page. It just kind of says, hey, we're just getting started. This is preliminary stuff and just browse around, take a look and see if you can discover anything. And then they have a drop down list of various sections. So they have historical cartography, which is a section that presents a bunch of maps, presumably introducing the uh, collector to the world of the figures that they're getting into. Then they have a lore page that has very minimal stuff, just kind of a quick intro that says, Our homeland is beyond comprehension, young one. We very well may be the center of all things. The origin point for everything that is, was, or will be. The crucible in which the universe forged all other worlds. So there you have your little intro there about the world. And... Probably the most interesting part of the website is the concept art section. And they talk about sort of their philosophy with designers. And typically, uh, My Action Figure Customs is a site where uh, Rob, with the help of various artists, sculptors, designers, sell all sorts of different 3D printed items designed by those artists. And they're kind of taking this a whole step further. And the artists are designing uh, you know, they're, they're sort of designing the figures and then sculptors will take these concept art designs and pull elements from the different concepts and make action figures out of them. And from what I can gather, it seems as though this is going to be uh, organized into factions or clans, some of which seem to almost be specific races. For example, you have the were clan, which is like werewolves. You have the serpent clan, which is lizard characters. Then you have like almost mixed race type of clans with the cultists that have skeleton type guys. They have, uh, you know, Cthulhu-esque squid type guys and all sorts of different monsters, basically, in the cultists category. And so you could browse around. There's a group called Forged. Now, I don't know if that's where the dwarves are going to come in, but some of the Rubus designs in the Forged section don't necessarily look like dwarves. They just kind of look like armored guys. Uh, and then, yeah, there's sort of like a whole bunch of things. There's dwarves. There's all sorts of characters all throughout the concept art. And the art is just, there's a wide range of art. I mean, you have uh, EJ De La Cruz's art that almost looks like re super refined uh, source book type artwork here. And then you have something like Matt O'Toole's super detailed pencil sketches or sort of this template style that uh, Rubis has put together here. A lot of really cool things. Uh, other artists, uh, Tar 
Tarin Fiddler and Yasin Stolov. Yeah, so there's just like a whole bunch of different artwork going on. The concept art page is the place to be, like browse around that. But that's not necessarily what they're making for figures. That's what they're going to use to inspire the design of the 3D sculpts that they're going to turn into action figures. All of this is what I've gathered. I could be completely wrong in my interpretation of things, but um, but yeah, that's kind of like my sense is that there's sort of like these factions or clans um, that include potentially dwarves, lizard people, cultists, warriors, barbarians, necromancers, and all sorts of things. I kind of almost get the sense that Rob put it to these artists and said, okay, everybody try to design a lizard man. And like most of the artists have their take on what a lizard man would look like. And I think they're going to use a combination of things from those various takes on lizard man to come up with what the lizard man in, in the line is going to look like. And the same thing with a, with dwarves or with any other race, like, Hey guys, design a squid head, uh, mind flayer type guy, and let me see all the different versions that you guys put out of that. And then, you know, pulling from those types of different looks. And then next up, we can take a look at some of the photographs that Cody, uh, Search Happy on Instagram took. And he did give me permission to use his photo. So thank you, Cody. Appreciate it very much. He took photos of the five, I believe, prototypes that were there on display. And first up, we do have that kind of mind flayer looking guy. It's um, it's definitely interesting. Like, I don't think these are fully fleshed out in terms of the construction yet, like the articulation and stuff, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see where they go with it. It's hard to tell um, exactly the types of articulation points that are on here, but there are breaks in articulation. There's like a torso articulation. There's a, looks like a waist articulation. There's hips, looks like sort of ball jointed hips, knees and elbows, you know, neck articulation and so on. Looks like there's even bicep swivel and the elbows and knees might be double jointed. I'm not hundred percent on that. Okay. So that was the, the mind flare type character, or I guess the cultist in this grouping. And next up we have a dwarf with sort of like a, a leather tunic type armor going on. I mean, it's, it's sculpted plastic, but it's sculpted to look like leather uh, braided beard. And it looks like he might have a gun. Like there might be some, you know, some somewhat modern, elements to some of these things uh kind of looks like you might have end up with an alternate head and I, I'm, I'm sure these are still very early prototypes i don't know that these represent wave one or, or what i'm also sure that we're going to find out a lot more once people come back from toylanta and have time to kind of debrief and share what rob was letting them know about at the event so so we'll see about that. And I do get very much like D&D, &D, Magic the Gathering vibes. I mean, next up, we essentially have a merfolk type character, a uh, merman, essentially. And he's part of the cultists. So like, it seems as though the monsters, there's like a shark guy too, but it seems like the monsters are part of that. And this one really kind of looks like the concept art here and definitely has that like merman kind of almost feels like a bit of a tribute to merman from masters of the universe this next one is i i think it might be part of the werewolves but i couldn't find a corresponding like concept design image like a hooded werewolf type guy but it definitely has a somewhat monstrous looking head it's got a crossbow that kind of looks almost like a werewolf's head and the sculpt work in the body shows fur. So it's kind of hard to say exactly what it is, you know, and the alternate head doesn't really look like a werewolf or anything, but it could be a much more human looking type character within the were people or the, the were clan. And then next up, we have a pretty cool looking barbarian. And again, a lot of these seem to have potentially like alternate head sculpts and stuff already. So they look pretty cool. Um, and finally, we have essentially a lizard man from probably i'd assume the serpent clan so six figures on display sort of a bit of a mystery viral campaign to bring attention to the line get people kind of talking about it and then you know this big reveal at toylanta so yeah so i'm eager to see where this thing goes it, I, like will it be a kickstarter will it be just a pre-order type thing will it be something where you 
you know, he's used to selling parts. So could it be something that is modular and you buy the different things and put them together or what? I don't know. I have no insider information. All I know is I got a coin in the mail and I've seen stuff going on. Things I've observed in the My Action Figure Customs Facebook group, um, you know, just kind of like following people on Instagram and so on. So if you like this video and you want to see more of my content, make sure you check out this playlist right here. And until next time, may the force be with you.